they are judging people, right? If these judges were on the, had been on the bench in Northern Ireland or in England, they would have been dismissed forthwith, right away, and they would have been subject to criminal investigations, and, if, and, and upon conviction would have been jailed. Okay, but Ireland, in Ireland, we do things differently. Corruption is rewarded in this country. Reality is, is right. That anybody, not just judges, anybody who got speeding tickets and approached guards to take care of them, perverted the course of justice. Right, there is no denying that fact. But, but in Ireland, we do things differently. We had a man. You're off with a man called Chris Hume. He was a he was an English he was an English minister. He was an English MP, and he was jailed a couple of years ago for giving his wife to take his penalty fines because he had, he, he had ten penalty fines or whatever, and, and, and additional penalty oh, fines would have resulted in, in, in him losing his license for a period of time. If he had been in Ireland, he wouldn't have had one single penalty fine on his license because he would have phoned his local the local superintendent. Oh, this is you know this is Chris. Will you look after me? Oh, no problem, Chris. He wouldn't have had a single penalty fine. Okay, he went to jail. If, if Chris Hume had been a, had been a TD or a minister in Ireland, he would not have went to jail, he would not have faced prosecution. He'd now be still in office in Ireland, he'd now be still in, he's still in Leicester House. But we have no, the, we have the, the, the West Mead uh, Chief Law Enforcer, uh, the attorney, uh, one of the better players, Peter Jones, to take some the penalty points removed. Now he's the Chief Prosecutor of West Mead. Now, then we have the Fianna Fáil TD having a, a penalty point. Hughes, Hughes, Hughes. And then the judge. Oh, 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 it's really not Hughes, Hughes, Hughes. Hughes. Oh, oh, oh. It's still very, very difficult to take a successful action against members of the Garda Shield College, by the way. It's still very, very difficult. Right? And anybody, uh, anybody considering taking on the guards at the High Court, they are facing a long, a long, hard struggle. Because the guards, I mean, because the, the Department of Justice and the Garda Shield College have a bottomless pit of money. And they will hire the top barristers in the country to challenge everything that you bring forward. I want to say, justice is only available then to those who can afford it, basically. What I want to say is, this is 2016, yes. 100 years after 1960. Yeah. The, the landlords are gone, but the landlord yes. system is not gone. Yeah, exactly. It is taken over by the judiciary. Yeah, James, exactly right. James, James Connolly, Pauly Pierce, and the other great people who died in 1916 gave their lives for an Ireland of equals. Yes. They didn't give their lives for the cronyism, acute tourism, corruption, oppression yeah. that have blighted this country since the foundation yes. of the state. What we have in this country is a winner takes all type of politics. Whoever gets into power divides all the spoils among their own people. Judges, all political appointees. That's right. We now have the new guard authority that can only appoint from the rank of superintendent of you, and only then with the, with, with the no, maybe more. Commission. Well, there's no accountability. A judge, a judge can make a decision, right? And if you want to challenge it, you if you have the money to go to the circuit court or the high court or whatever, off you go. Judges are not accountable. The DPP is the DPP is not accountable. The DPP can decide to prosecute somebody. Yeah. And there's no way of challenging that decision. In England, I don't know what I mean. You know, we are so we are so near to the UK. Sorry, we are so near to we're so near to Great Britain. And I'm sure any is uh, familiar with the, with the case of um, of Rebel General. Rebel General was a, a former Labour MP. He ended up as a Lord General. He was accused of of uh, sexually assaulting children. And a decision was made by the DPP in England not to prosecute him. And the DPP had to, was hauled into television studios in the UK, uh, in England, and had to account for the decision not to prosecute the federal general. There was accountability in the DPP's office in England, not in Ireland. There's no accountability and transparency are alien concepts in this country. In many instances in courtrooms, the truth is the first casualty. Now, I don't know how true truth this is. Truth is the first casualty. I don't know what, how true this is to give it in research, but I would be told by a few different people. The last person jailed for perjury in Ireland was in 1909. Now, perjury, I would, I would, I would look upon as a very serious uh, offence because you're telling lies under oath. Yeah. And I believe, and I don't know, I, I, it has to be more research, but 1909 was the last. This is the, 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 the uh, forces of law are the ones calling, telling the lies. Of course. Not, not the, 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 the accused in many cases. And I've seen it in this courtroom, in family yeah, law, it's, which is it's top very, secret. It's very, very, very difficult to take a successful action for malicious prosecution in this country. It's impossible. It's very, very difficult. I mean, all the guard has to do is say that we're acting in good faith. 
and then you're kind of, you know what I mean, they, 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 they are protected. It is very, very difficult. I mean, I'm aware of several malicious prosecutions that have been taken over the last number of years. Yeah. Um, well, but but I, and I, I'm aware of one individual who's trying to take a civil action against the state at the moment, but it would be very, very difficult to prove. <coughs> Unfortunately, you know. But all we can do is keep trying. That's all. You know, but uh, it's, it's um, the, in, 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 in relation to what happened to, to Wayne Rash, in relation to you know, the, 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 the uh, so called attempted court. That was the speaking. Joke. I'm not Absolute sure I came on the train. And concerning. Again, judges should be accountable for their actions. We all make mistakes. Judges make mistakes. But judges should be accountable for their actions. In the same way that guards should be accountable for their actions. And everybody else should be accountable for their actions. And while it's, 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 it's obvious that the, the law was broken by a judge, for a whale to take a case against the state, I mean, as you say, it would be it even cost money and all that kind of stuff, and it's also stacked against you. Justice is only available if you have money. You know, and, um, well, people shouldn't give up, of course, at the same time. As Joe Lucy correctly said, I mean, you said uh, when the state come after you, you're in trouble. Up. And when the state close the ranks against you, you really are up against it. You know, well, yeah, but him. knowledge, knowledge is the key at the end of the day. It is. Because um, at the end of the day, what, the, what they're not telling the people is, there, uh, when ju all judges go, the judiciary system, when they go for the bar, it's the British Accreditation Registry. Listen to them words, right? That means when they get their bar cards, it's actually bar cards. They're, it's a, it's a permit to act as banker and administrator to the halls of unions. Not, not to deal, unless it's, it's, unless it's a criminal offence, they can only operate through commerce. And a lot of the cases, what, what the judges are doing is illegal. Um, practicing law on the bench, they do not have a licence to practice law on the bench. And they don't want the people to know that. But as soon as you get try to get that across, they shout like Darden's Bull up on the bench and they get the guards to drag you out. So that the other people are not aware of what you're saying. Hughes, Hughes, Hughes! Out, out, out! I wonder has Seamus Hughes any spokesman to come out and tell us how he got his penalty points wiped? Which guard do we go to? Because there's a few of us here has speed penalty points as well. And his wife got penalty points wiped. Yeah. Yeah. Are you arresting anyone today, Seamus? Are you sending anyone to jail? As huh? are we in contempt of court to stand on the path? Are we in contempt of court because we don't obey people? Don't <laughs> 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 <laughs>